Sony kickstarts the week pretty big way with buying a new studio, and this is not a rumor or anything like that. They are actually buying the studio. It's already confirmed and things like that. We're going to see a lot more of this. Again, this isn't like a huge studio that maybe a lot of people are kind of used to or that maybe people were expecting. This is more along the lines of what I was kind of mentioning, and this is the stuff that they will probably continue to do for a while going forward. Uh, it's not the big splashy thing that you know maybe some people wanted or some people expected it's not buying out square enix but what it is doing is buying a studio that has a lot of talent and a well-known name running the studio so again it looks like sony will be doubling down on a studio that has uh some really good uh workers there and not only that but jade raymond as such is really one of the people that a lot of people will probably look to as one of the bigger names in gaming to kind of run a studio so she's got a real good pedigree uh and i think that's something that will continue to serve her well working for uh sony but i do want to get into it because this is definitely a video that everybody's talking about and one that people are going to want to hear about uh there's a lot to cover real quick and i want to jump into it hey everybody i'm crab gamer and this of course is crab gamer reviews back with another video thank you so much for checking it out i really do appreciate it please like share subscribe i would appreciate that as well it helps out the channel and it means a lot to me personally uh if you guys are new to the channel a simple like is all i require um you know i put a lot of hard work into the into this and you know i would just really appreciate it if you guys would do that for me um you know it means the world to me so thank you guys very much if you do watch the videos now again this just got released today uh, montreal based studios first new ip for playstation is a triple a multiplayer experience which is probably a little bit more in line with what everybody was kind of expecting um and th what they had to say today on their blog which is going to be linked in the description below you guys can check that out as well uh it says we're delighted to announce that haven studios is officially joining playstation studios jade raymond brings a wealth of experience from her industry achievements and an infectious passion for creating games and the leadership team at haven is an equally impressive group of industry veterans who have collaborated on some of the biggest and most well-beloved games and franchises that many of us still enjoy today we began working with Jade and her team in early 2021 when they were on the brink of announcing the formation of Haven Studios from their first pitch. We were inspired by Haven's division for creating a modern multiplayer experience that brings gamers together in positive and meaningful ways. We were confident in their creative and technical expertise to deliver on such an ambitious project, and we were thrilled to invest in their journey developing a new original IP for PlayStation. We've had some privileges of working closely with Haven in the past year and have been impressed by the studio's growth and progress, so now practically on the anniversary of when we made our partnership official it's especially exciting to formally welcome them to the playstation family we can't wait to see what the future holds for haven studios welcome to playstation studios haven so this is what jade raymond had to say about it and I quote, One year ago this month, we embarked on a journey to start Haven Studios with a small team and big ambitions. Our goal was to build a studio where we could make the kind of games we've always wanted to create and games we've longed to play. We've made amazing progress in short time thanks to our talented, passionate team and their exceptional contributions. We established a culture at Haven grounded in kindness, adaptivity, and courage that unlocks creativity. Our first new IP for PlayStation is on track to deliver a AAA multiplayer experience with a vision to build a systematic and evolving world focused on freedom, thrill, and playfulness. That will keep players entertained for engaged for years and years to come. Today, the Haven team begins a new phase of our journey as part of the PlayStation Studios family. Working with Herman Holst, Connie Booth, and the team at PlayStation over the past year has been a career highlight. Sony is a supportive partner that truly understands the creative process and what it takes to make a blockbuster AAA game. They have been empowered and encouraged us to bring our bold vision to life and make our dreams come true, and we could not be more thrilled about this opportunity to strengthen our partnership. As a uh, Sony first-party studio, we will have the opportunity to collaborate with some of the world's most renowned development teams, including studios like Gorilla, Naughty Dog, Media Molecule, and Insomniac Games, the creators of games that have inspired us and as players and developers for years. We're excited to learn from these world-class studios, as well as exceptional central creative technology and marketing teams whose expertise will fill us and enable us to deliver even better games to players. To our team at Haven, a th huge thank you. It's one of the most rewarding years of my career. And to the players out there, we can't wait to share more. We're just at the beginning of what is sure to be a wondrous adventure that will span generations. So <clears throat> the interesting thing here is that 
they're very much, you know, uh, making a multiplayer game, AAA multiplayer game. But a AAA multiplayer game, the interesting part is, may, it wouldn't take as long as it would take to make a single player and multiplayer game. So this is likely something that is actually probably coming along pretty well and probably could release in the next year or two. And I think that's probably big news for PlayStation. But, you know, picking up Jade Raymond is a huge bonus and a huge boon for, for PlayStation Studios. Um, you know, like I said, it's not the big Square Enix type deal or whatever, but it is still a huge deal and, you know, a pretty big thing to kind of behold. And I, I love seeing that, you know, Microsoft and Sony are kind of going back and forth, making sure that these that they have, you know, studios in line and things to kind of... Um, continue making people excited about the future of what's going on and that's going to be um what really kind of tends to make these things all the more uh you know amazing over the years you know we're going to keep seeing stuff like this happening and you know that's exactly why microsoft and sony are are where kind of they're at right now you know we keep seeing um you know everybody just be oh really excited about the future of what's happening with these video games and then we kind of wait and kind of wonder what's happening and then you know we get even more news and and more announcements and stuff like that and that's kind of where this comes in in line is just a big you know huge announcement that like everybody was kind of talking about you know i think that no it wasn't but is this something that you know people are are should be excited about probably because it's you know a pretty big game and it's a pretty big um you know studio and things like that so we'll see what happens and where this kind of leads to but you know it is nice to see that sony is still out there making moves like this and kind of doing their own thing and that's exactly what they needed to do you know like us as fans can sit there and kind of guess and and things like that but it really when it comes down to is is that these gamers are gonna you know these these studios are going to continue to um, kind of flourish and continue to be bought and things like that so it really kind of depends on where you stand but I'm, I'm curious to see you know exactly what is going to happen in the future with all of this and you know it's going to be interesting to see um, you know again just just what's going to happen um, <laughs> in, in the future because we're going to continue to see you know Sony and Microsoft and, and do these type of moves and yeah that's going to continue to kind of lead us to where we're going to be going in the future and like I said it's going to be all about the content wars not the console wars you know we got to wait and see where exactly uh, Microsoft and Sony end but you know we're seeing some pretty big moves and things like that happening as it is and you know it's going to continue to see um, you know I think Sony pick up some of these smaller type of studios and i think that's going to be something that um everybody can kind of look to and go hey you know what that's a very interesting thing that they were able to accomplish you know they pulled off they were able to go out there and um you know manage to get these type of studios that nobody thought was possible and listen i don't think that it's it's stupid to look at at haven studios and go oh well you know what haven studios is it really worth it uh you know they haven't done anything yet but i think the pedigree is still there um, and I think that's the thing that uh, really is going to kind of drive things going forward. And that's what we have to look forward to is, is the future with this studio. So it's a nice pickup for, for Sony. And, um, you know, Sony will probably pick up a few more like this. And it's something we we'll look forward to uh, in the future. So with that being said, I'm going to link this. You guys can check it out. Let me know what you think. Rack them up, fact them up, grab gamer them up. Thanks for watching. Grab gamer out.